Howdy folks, I have had Bosch oscillating blades around here forever, but uh, I think we found the answer today, so we're going to be showing that to you. But in the meantime, I'm going to get my Bosch open here for a second. And, you know, uh, these oscillating saws are absolutely fantastic around woodworking. Anytime you get stuck with something and you can just drive this blade straight into something to cut to get your problem solved, it's like, I love it. But you hit a nail, you hit a screw, you hit a piece of metal, and you know, and even good hardwood sometimes, and the blade just goes dull. It's just so fast that I've actually gone to the store and bought several blades for a project just to make sure I had a good sharp blade all the way to the end of the project because even this one here I just used it the other last week, and uh, yeah, it's it doesn't have the bite anymore that it should have. And they just seem to they just don't seem to hold up now. They're expensive too, which doesn't help. You know, they're they're not uh, they're not giving these things away for you know a dollar ninety eight or whatever. Got something new in though, and this kind of excited me when I heard about it because these are a new blade, but they're from an interesting company. That's a titanium carbide oscillating saw blade that is. Here's the motto of the company. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Damn good tools. <laughs> Damn good tools. How about a blade that will last 50 times longer than other blades? Yeah, so I got one out of the bag here. Uh, these are titanium and carbide. So they will, they're damn good tools. <laughs> they, titanium carbide oscillating saw blades. And I was kind of excited to hear that because I knew, I says, oh yeah, this is something that'll stay sharp and go through some materials. Well, they're rated for wood, plastic, you know, nails, yeah bolts and other uh, hard metals. So yeah, you know, we've got six piece set here and they are said to go through all of that. So uh, today I guess we better get our oscillating saw out and we're gonna run these things through. Now I've gotta tell you right now, I've got an old oscillating uh, saw that's a nasty old bugger. Uh, I guess we'll use that to drive these with because Theoretically, um, I should only be showing this tool today. And how do you show the blade and, you know, where's the rest of the tool, right? So we've got a uh, basic one that's kind of a no-name brand here with us today. So we're going to do that. And um, I guess this other brand that we were going to show today, we will show maybe Thursday we'll uh, be able to get into this one. I was really looking forward to getting into this. but. I really got excited about these blades and I was like, man, I, we got to show these blades immediately. If they're as good as they say they are, this whole box of Bosch can go, uh, you know, in the trash. No, I won't put them in the trash can. But we will send them on to a, uh, a store somewhere that maybe does recycling with reselling or something that uses money for uh, donations, that sort of thing. I like doing that. So we'll get this one out of the way. <clears throat> and. Uh, just put that back there so pretend you don't see it. Yeah, and uh, we'll get the no-name oscillator out and we'll hook one of these up. And the first thing we'll do is we'll try a piece of wood. Let's just cut a piece of wood with these and just see how good they go through. Okay, for our basic test, I'm just uh, going to use my cheapest nasty old oscillating uh, saw. Like I said, we do have a new one in here, but we'll get to that Thursday or something. This thing is not very good, but again, let's see how these do. This is just a piece of, uh, Pine from like Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, so no big deal, but let's see. Not bad, not bad, huh? Yeah, and that was wood, so let's get to something better. <laughs> okay, found an old board from a project I was doing yesterday that had a nail hanging out of it. Uh, that project will be, I guess, on YouTube at some point in the future, but right now I had an old board here with a nail hanging out and thought, yep, that's just exactly what we want. So let's see if we can cut this, uh, turn this up to full speed and cut a nail. Wow, old piece of square tubing. So yeah, let's cut into her and see how she cuts. Eh, 
<laughs> I was worried about that, but yeah, she's cutting it. It would take a while. It would. It's not the most efficient way to cut metal tubing, obviously, but uh, that's some th fairly heavy tubing, and it's going through pretty good. So uh, I'm going to say it's a, you know, it's okay. <laughs> The whole thing is 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 just a oscillating saw, so I'd say that's not half bad. Same blade so far today that we've been messing with, and now we're gonna run some treated lumber. Pretty good blade, I'll tell you. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. She's still sharp. You can still feel it. She's got a nice blade on her. There's nothing, you know, no chunks missing out of her. <laughs> I cut some metal off camera that you guys didn't get to see it, but uh, it was a, like a sheet metal thing, and it was so loud and so noisy, and there was so much vibration from the metal. Uh, I just decided to give it up because I'd have to clamp it to like a welding table or something better than uh, the wood bench here. So that one didn't happen. Didn't happen for you guys, but believe me, yeah, she was she was cutting it. She was doing a pretty interesting job. These things get you through so many different projects, including if you want to plunge and cut a square hole through a two by four. I've done it for building little toy trucks and stuff at one time, and uh, so there's just a lot of crazy things. This past week, I was doing uh, French doors, and I had to trim out where the uh, the new uh, trim pieces would go for the doors, and to get into the the uh, Instead of messing up with the drywall or tearing the uh, baseboards off, I just cut into the baseboards to bring the new trim into place, and it, it worked. It was beautiful, you know. Now, one of the reasons why I uh, mentioned this is um, we wanted to show the other guy's oscillating saw as part of the show today. Well, you sort of can't because it conflicts with you know two different uh, lines of products and things, and they, they don't like that kind of thing. So we thought we'd use old this old piece of junk here, but what the problem is with this one is the speed indicator is right back here on a little wheel, and the minute you start this up, this wheel starts dropping down. Five, four, three. Yeah, it just basically shuts itself down, so you have to kind of keep holding the wheel and checking it, and you probably heard the speed going up and down a little bit when I was cutting even. It's just extremely frustrating. I really don't even know where this came from. This was a uh, yard sale for five bucks or whatever at the time, so I have no idea. But it was concerning because I really want to show off the blade, obviously, not the tool anyways. And so having a bad tool like this one was not a great idea, but it was like, that's what we have, let's do it. You know, So you saw what it was doing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna provide a link in the description below where you can find these blades. I uh, gotta thank Z Bannocks for sending these over to us. Uh, I've got six of them here all together. This is a six piece set that you can get with the link and or you can buy, I think there's also uh, a two piece set. So I'll try to get both links for you on there where you can just get two blades or you can get six blades because uh, I think this is at least as good as anything for a blade to have around for an oscillating saw because you know, when you're running into, uh, especially construction stuff, and you run into screws and nails that are hidden, uh, especially like we were working on the house this past week doing some jobs, and I was cutting into two by fours and stuff, and I mean, I was like, I know the nails are back there, but all I have is these, uh, you know, uh, ones from like Lowe's that are so-called bimetal, and the minute they hit the nail, it's kind of like, you know what, yeah, that's that's finished, it's, it's, it's done, you know, it's like, It'll slow down, there'll be a chunk of teeth missing out of it and everything else. And uh, I actually had uh, somebody else bring an extra saw, pa uh, oscillating saw over to the job, brought an extra set of blades and stuff, and we tore blades up and stuff just trying to get in because we were moving the actual studs inside the walls and backing them up for the new door install that we were doing. So it was like, we knew, you know, this is, you know. And of course we hit stuff that was in there, that wall that you didn't even expect to hit. Uh, there was uh, nails from the outside for the siding that we ran into. There was nails from the drywall from the inside of the house that we ran into as we were trying to free up the studs so we could be, you know, get them moved. But uh, flooring is another place. If you ever do hardwood flooring, like laminate flooring, uh, well, that's a mess. <laughs> and kind of like laminate flooring where you have to cut a piece out or something. Oscillating saw or jigsaw. Jigsaw does okay with this, but I, I'm not a jigsaw fan. I just I have one, but I, I 
probably it's one of those tools I don't really care to use much. But an oscillating saw like this can really get you into some, um, gets you some really cool jobs done, especially when you have to go up underneath something with the uh, flooring. A lot of times you can put the flooring down flat, put your oscillating blade on top and go like this and just go back and forth and get the profile you need. And then when you put the flooring in, it'll go up underneath because it, it has that clearance that was created by the oscillating saw. So let's face it, the jobs, the number of jobs you can do with oscillating is just, it's, it's amazing. It's a, it's, it's a great tool. I, I, I don't think I, man, I'm, I'm sure glad I have one, but I don't know what we did in the old days. I guess we made a mess or something because uh, this has been, you know, the oscillating saw has always been a, a wonder to like, yeah, I can cut, I can cut and do things with this saw. I just can't do with anything else I have. Another job that I used this for uh, last week was uh, taking the siding down off the back, off the back side of the house. There was caulking sealant up there, and rather than taking a knife or something and trying to, you know, cut the caulking out, I just ran the blade across the top of the boards and stuff and got all the caulking out of the way so I could remove the old uh, boards because I was replacing them anyways. And uh, that way it didn't really mess the house up or create a problem, and it was easier to, you know, get the boards off. Uh, also, uh, inside the house, I used an oscillating blade where I had a, to get into this drywall, and I had to trim the drywall out just trim it off a little bit more for the new doors. The doors I put in are bigger than the old doors, so I had quite a, it was a big, big project, but the oscillating saw was just like, oh, that made everything so much easier. Also these, um, I'm gonna give you the size of these things. They're uh, inch and three eighths, and plunge depth is an inch and a half. So, and I think just about, I think just about everybody's pretty much in that range anyways. Let me have a look here. Actually, you know what, no. The plunge range on this is actually better than the ones I've got from Home Depot. Huh, wow, didn't know that. And uh, the other thing was they have the slot, of course, in the back. If you see the new uh, oscillating saws these days, they have a little you know, switch here for quick, quick change, so you can just flip the switch up, pull the blade out, put a new blade in, lock it down, and go back to uh, oscillating or whatever with cutting. So they do have that slot in there, so that's you know, another feature that, of course, should be mentioned. Huh. I just, I tell you, this is something I, I uh, wanted a long time ago, <laughs> was, was, was a blade like that you could depend on, so, wow, great stuff, yes. Thank you so much for watching Coffee Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. We've given, we're giving tools away, we're giving tools away this Thursday, and uh, yeah. And also, I guess we have another uh, new tool for either Thursday or Monday. I'm not sure where that's going to fall into place now because we had to reschedule, so eh, whatever. Meantime, I'm out of here, and thanks for watching again. And guys and guys, girls, be good and over and out.